Hello there, this is Dimitrios Christou and I'm back with another Blender video quick tip. Now for this video we're going to see how we can create some easy skies in Blender for cycles. They can also help us to illuminate our scene and change drastically the look of our scene. Now I've used them on my dailies lots of times and I've used them in my tutorial just a couple of times but let's take a look here let's see how this works now you can see this is a simple scene all we have here is a particle system and the particle system uses the round cube this object right here stretched very simple stuff it uses a glass shader but the whole trick is at the word options when you can see that we have background surface and we're using a magic texture as a color the depth is set to 2 but what you have to do is let's set it from the start I'm going to remove the magic texture this is now gray color sky or background I'm going to change this viewport into not not going to change it I'm just going to set it to render so we can see now this is what we're getting the strength for the background is at about 1.7 the amount of illumination in offers to the cycles rendered to the cycle scene here now I'm going to click over here click at magic texture now what we're getting of at first is a bit chaotic simply because we can see the entire magic texture here it uses lots of color lots of stuff and all what you have to do to create a more balanced result is to bring the scale down it is set to 5 let's bring this one down to 0 0.1 now don't be afraid to move closer to the magic texture here since this is a procedural texture and you can easily uh, make it as big or as small as you like as you can see we're having a gradient here from blue to white and you can also change the scale for different colors to appear well they're actually part of the same texture of the magic texture here but the depth puts the uh, scale actually puts more stuff in it so as you can see it creates some odd results here well i don't really like having all those lights because this is a sky and those affect the illumination of the scene cycles so i'm keeping it simple by setting it to 0.1 what you can also do is move to negative values so I'm moving to minus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.2 you can see what we're getting here and you can create some interesting scenes and use it for your scene illumination now what you can also do I'll move over to the texture options and I'm going to select the magic texture and you can also see here in this menu in 2.79 that we have the world here, the world icon and this means that we're editing, we're doing stuff on the world texture, the magic texture you can change the depth from here and the scale as well now what we can do is change the rotation I'm changing the Z rotation so let's see what happens when I type in 40 move over to the world options for a bit and what happens is that the magic texture here rotates around the z-axis around the vertical axis and you can create some nice stuff with it you can when you find nice set of colors that you like you can then rotate the texture around to see how it illuminates your scene now there are plenty of things you can do with it you can change the depth Changing the depth creates all sorts of nice little gradients and effects here. Let's set the scale to 0 0.1. Okay, positive value. You can change the depth for a number of different different styles and different stuff for the magic texture for the colors it uses. Now, if you want to use something classic and something very, very easy, you can change the magic texture to a gradient texture. Okay. Now, I'll also set the rotation, let's set it to 0. 
Now what the gradient texture does is that, as you can see, splits our world here, our sky in half, and we have part black on the left and one part white on the right. Again, since this one splits our render, doesn't look all that good, what we can do is move over to the z-axis for the gradient texture, and this is gradient texture rotation, and let's set it to something like minus 40. This moves the white to the left in a way, actually it rotates it on the z-axis, and it creates a nice, very, very interesting result. As you can see, most of the light comes from behind the particle system, while over here we have little to no illumination at all. Let's do a quick render to see how this one looks. Alright, looking good. What we can also do is use all sorts of procedural textures Blenden provides to illuminate the scene and to create some nice results. We can also say use the Voronoi texture. This is what you're getting with the Voronoi texture. You can also change from intensity to cells. This also adds color in it. And again, if you find this to be too chaotic for your taste, you can bring the scale down. You can set it to 0.4. Not sewing mats, let's set it to 1. Alright, so this is what you're getting, pretty funky. You can try all sorts of values here and see which one fits your scene and your render. So let's keep it simple, let's keep it quick. I don't want to bore you any more with this, but as you can see, you can quickly, very quickly create some nice setups, some nice skies in Cycles and Blender that will also illuminate your scene and your objects in new ways and might inspire you to work with them further and to improve the light materials and all that. So that's the quick tip, this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.